Is Bitcoin giving you a headache? Are you tired of this range-bound trading? Are you bored? Are you worried? What's your sentiment about Bitcoin? For me, is just a waiting game. We are range-bound between 62,000 and 72,000. We're pretty much in the middle of that, trending a little bit downwards. Nothing to panic about since the beginning of the year. We started at around $43,000 and now we are at $65,153. Quite a good profit. I don't know why people are complaining. We have gone through the having. One thing that you need to know that we learned from previous cycles is that the three months post having usually are either flat or down. Once I think it went up a little bit, but nothing major happens in the first 90 days post having. We are in that window right now. The 90 days fall on the 18th of July, 2024. The having happened on the 19th of April, 2024. Therefore, around the 18th of July, 2024, we will have passed those 90 boring days. And either a few days before, a few days after, we will see something happen with Bitcoin. That's what history tells us. That's what we have to be patient for. You just need to stay put. 90% of investing is a waiting game. Once you have identified your assets, once you have built your positions, after that, you have to be patient and stay calm. Stay in the market because we could have $3,000, $4,000, $5,000 candles in one day. And if you miss those days, you will miss a high percentage of the gains of the bull run. Be patient. Do not use leverage. I repeat that. It is critical. Keep your coins. You don't want to lose coins. My plan is to potentially not sell any Satoshis for the next 10 years. What I'm going to do is trade my altcoins, get profit from my altcoins, and put them back into Bitcoin. That's my plan. Some I will reserve for buying back altcoins at a lower price. That's fine. But I do not plan to sell my Satoshis. It is a special asset, a scarce asset. And once I sell Bitcoin, do I put it on a better horse? What better horse we have right now? The only one that I can think of that is performing a little better than Bitcoin right now is NVIDIA and that's it. Nothing else. Tesla maybe eventually, but not now. So that's the only option that I have right now. I'd rather keep my money in Bitcoin for the time being. So be patient. You need to learn how to stay put. If you want to add a little bit of your position, it's still time to do so. If you want to, if not, you just leave it as is. Just wait for Bitcoin to do its thing. That's the only thing that you need to do. That's what I suggest to my subscribers, not financial advice, but that's what I'm doing. The bull run, exciting, explosive days are coming soon. If you're impatient and you miss them, you will kick yourself. That's the only thing that I'm going to say about that. You need to be aware of what's coming. Stay calm, stay put. This is the structure of the Bitcoin chart on the weekly. As I covered before, this was the big region to accumulate in the previous bear market. Now we have already had quite nice gains for Bitcoin. We are near all-time highs, not at all-time highs, but we are in the window of less than 90 days post having, and we just need to wait for the move. Even the trend line here is looking for the region where the 18th of July falls. I'm going to show you where it is. It's around here. This is the 22nd, 15 and 22nd. It should be something here. It 
falls exactly on this trend line. So we could see a nice candle here to the upside. We go to above 75,000, let's say, and this will trigger one of the biggest panic, FOMO, whatever you're gonna call it, in the market as people are going to freak out and jump on Bitcoin. They're gonna jump on Bitcoin, but they're gonna jump also on Ethereum and memes and other altcoins that have been leading the market like Solana. So just be patient. It's coming, you need to wait and go through this boring phase. We went through the horrible correction. We went to the boring accumulation phase here where it was time to accumulate Bitcoin. Now we have had quite a nice profit from this base and we are a few days from the real explosion of the bull market post having The setup is perfect. Bitcoin will do its thing with or without the ETFs. It doesn't matter. It will do its thing. You just have to have confidence on previous history that these things will happen. I'm confident that they will happen. Is it going to be at 90 days precisely? No, it could be a little later. It could be a little earlier. You never know. But because you don't know, you need to be in the market. You need to have your bags filled, your coins ready, and you need to avoid leverage in order to avoid liquidation. If you avoid liquidation, you keep your coins, you keep your profits, and you're going to be fine. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a challenging period when nothing happens or Bitcoin corrects and you see your portfolio going down significantly, especially if you have a bigger portfolio, but you need to stay the course. That's the only thing you need to do. The exciting time is very, very near. Hold on. Forget about crypto for the next three weeks or a month, I would say. It's pretty much a month, month and a week. And then after that, you will be very happy. See you all on the next video.